Hmm. What's up, my name is Musa V here. Welcome to another video. So in this one, we are going to do a quick uh, trade review here. Um, again, this is um, the trade that I did. Just you no, know, just so I want to give you guys some of the details as to why I took some of the trades, and then um, just gonna break down um, my my mindset going into a trade and why sometimes I would not even try to get into a trade. So that's what I want us to um, actually cover it into this video. But as you can see here, we have um, RVPH308 uh, MVIS, we made $23 and some change. And uh, then um, MYMD, we lost $45. And um, that was actually a stupid trade on my part. I never should have taken that trade. So. That's something that you guys can definitely um, learn from. So overall, uh, daily goal of 250 a day. Um, I think we still came out on top, uh, maybe 200 and about 280. So which is good. Again, you guys know my strategy. I'm not a greedy savage, so I'm not looking for Lamborghini money. I'm slowly but steadily really uh, building and making some profit. Just trying to be consistent with my profit. The whole idea here is that if you are greedy and you're trying to make one, two, three thousand, you are going to end up losing one, two, three thousand in the process as well. So you have to be very careful. Pick your battles wisely. So that's something that I want to make sure that you guys are really aware of. Uh, before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So, guys, again, this is what we had today. Total profit about $280. Um, RVPH was one of the stocks that gapped um, when the market opened. We didn't have this one on our watch list because it didn't show anything uh, pre-market. But as soon as the market opened, it started to show some signs. And, and uh, my scanner picked it up. And I jumped on it and um, traded it for a little bit, even though there was a lot of opportunities for you know people to get in and out of the stock. Um, I didn't, I didn't trade it all the way, but at least I'm still happy with the profit that I made, and I'm happy that some some other people too made some profit. Um, so definitely, this is one that we are going to take a deeper dive into. So let's jump right in and take a look at their uh, particular stock. So um, let's go right here. So this is a stock um, right here, market open. So if you can see here, the gray area on my chart here is pre-market. So pre-market, look at this, nothing was really happening with the stock. Um, and so that's why I didn't make my watch list. And then as soon as the market opens, um, we can see here, the stock gaps all the way to about 5.5 and then got halted. So right here, this was the first uh, halt. So let me point that right here. So right here, that's where we got our first halt at about 5.5. So I still watching this one. And then it came out of the halt and squeezed all the way to uh, right here about 6 point something, around 6.6. .6. So coming out of the halt, it got up to about $6. And then as you can see here, it's still above VWAP. So in most cases, you think that um, it would probably gap up again so you can you can get in. But after this, the second candle here, look at that big doji right there. And then one important thing for you to see here is stochastic right here was crossing. So look at K is crossing to the downside and my uh, D is crossing to the upside. So what that tells me is, again, you're looking for a pullback in this, in this scenario. So I didn't take that trade. So I didn't get in just because I thought it was going to bounce up. So I, I, didn't, I didn't get in the trade. But then I kept thinking, like, maybe I missed out on this trade because this was a squeeze all the way from uh, right here, $5 all the way to, to uh, $6 and some change. So I was like, okay, uh, if that's it, that's uh, too bad. I missed it. So I kept watching the stock. If you can see, it squeezed. It finally squeezed that doji there is 6.2. So that was the high. And then it pulled back again, like we saw here with Stochastic saying it's going to pull back. And the pullback did happen. Um, again, you can see right here uh, when it, it, it finally crossed again, uh, when K crossed to the upside and D to the downside, it crosses VWAP. So we make a test of VWAP right there, but it failed. 
So I didn't take a trade here because it, it didn't it didn't give me any confirmation. So I kept laughing like, hey, you're baiting me, you're not gonna get me. Um, then this is where the stock started to show me some some movement to the upside. Right here again, it crosses test VWAP. And then I hear this second candle right here. And my strategy is supposed to be the one minute candle because I use the one minute um uh, uh time frame. So I'm looking for a new high here, and it didn't give me that new high. So I'm like, this thing is just messing with me. And then it pulled back to five or uh, five point eight. So I'm thinking, but stochastic still shows me that it's uh, on the upside. K is on the upside, so maybe there's still an opportunity there. Then it just popped from five point that five point eight or five point nine all the way to six point two. And like I said. The high here was what? 6.2 of this initial high here was 6.2. So that would be my the point that would give me some confirmation to enter the trade. So uh, some people would have entered the trade somewhere here. But for me, I wanted to make sure that it matches the high of day because now I want us to set a new high. So I got in at 6.2 and then it tested again, pulled back a little bit. It was like, whoa, 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 this is not right. And then uh, kind of just show some con uh, consolidation around here, which I, I did like this. And then all of a sudden, it just squeezed from that 6.2 all the way to 6.7. And then bounced back, went up to 6.8 right here. And then if you look at this green candle, it went all the way to 6.27. And I'm thinking like, holy smokes. And it actually went to pull back. So then I look at stochastic right here. And this is the things that you have to be paying attention, guys. So stochastic right here is crossing. K is going to the downside. And you can see my D is going to the upside. And look at where that matches right on point, if you can see that. So I got out of this trade about 6.9 or so. Um, and then I took some profit. And it's like, I don't want to even sit in this thing. And then if you can see what happened, a pull back um, all the way to um, 6.2, just right away to like where I got into the trade. Uh, but again, squeeze back up. So in this case, this would have been another opportunity to, to like, kind of ride it back again because it's like a, a bounce off of VWAP and then squeeze back up. So at this point, I'm feeling pretty good. I have some profit, so I didn't want to take any chance. So I didn't trade this little piece right here. But if you can see, it just kind of, uh, pull back again and went underneath VWAP. You guys know me. If it's not above VWAP, I suddenly would touch a stock below VWAP unless um, there is a really good catalyst that's you know pushing me to kind of trade the stock at that particular point. So um, now again, I'm looking for another opportunity to trade the stock. Remember that we have our new high here is 7.2. So the first new high was 6.2, and that's where I use as my support um, to get into the trade. Because once you get to that point, now I want it to break and set a new high. So if we go back here now, so if I'm sitting at 7.2 for for 7.2 for high, so that's what I, I want to use as my benchmark. So for most people, right here, this would have been a great point for you to enter enter the trade right here. Crosses VWAP. Next one minute candle sets a new high. You get in and then put right this one somewhere up here. But I didn't I didn't take that trade because I was sitting pretty good. I felt good because I already had some profit. But again, the reason I didn't want to was because I wanted it to break a new high, which is 7.2 for me. So where is 7.2? 7.2 will be right here. So for somebody that uh took the trade here. They would have made more money compared to me that took the trade right here at 7.2. But guess what? I am acting cautiously. I didn't want to take any chance because this thing could show you right here like it's going to break and then flush it. So I didn't want that. So I wanted to show me, hey, 7.2, we want to break that and set some new highs. So that this would have been a great spot to get back into the trade at that 7.2. So that, that would be the approach that I would use if I were to get back into the trade here. As you can see, at 7.2, um, it kind of squeezed up a little bit, but stays above that 7.2, pulled back a little bit here, again, stays about oh, above 7.2, and then 
Look at this pullback right here to 7.3. So it goes all the way to 7.8 and then back to 7.3. Boy, look at that rip. It just ripped all the way just past it like it was nothing. All the way to 9.5 for a high. Man, this is what like a picture perfect trade. You if you got in here and held this thing all the way to 9.5, you would have been sitting pretty good uh, with some money. And then after 9.5, that's high of the day. And then the pullback came back again somewhere around here and showed some opportunities. Uh, right here, I'm not even looking at taking the trade anymore. Uh, here, I'm just being a spectator. And then I was anticipating that it was going to squeeze again towards the end of the day. Um, see this massive pullback here. And then consolidate again and pull and squeeze back all the way from uh what we have here 7.9 all the way back to about 8.9 almost nine dollars again right there 9.1 um uh, but again it was kind of like a choppy move and i didn't want to trade that uh i was hoping for it to move after hours that never happened because i did i think i posted in our discord group that i was looking because when stocks usually finish strong like this uh the regular hours the it pre um after hours they will squeeze up uh, and you can still trade them after hours and make some profit but it, it did pull back so um which is too bad because i actually looking to see if it made some move after hours but boy this was this is a really great trade so if you can see if i can zoom in here or just zoom yeah zoom in here so you guys can see so overall this stock came out about four dollars and fifty cents and it went to a high of nine dollars and fifty cents so that's a spread of five dollars this is why sometimes penny stocks are great to trade because um if you had bought just a thousand shares um this is easy you could have made a lot of money and that's why when people ask or oh, how can you make 250 a day if you only have a thousand dollars or you have uh you no know, two thousand dollars the idea here is that it's more so how you trade what you trade be smart about your trade if you get into good trades you can definitely make some good profit if you get in some bad trades cut your losses as soon as possible and get out so this would have been a great opportunity um me personally i don't think that i could have gotten in here and held this thing all the way to 9.5 that's that's impossible because because of the way i trade i trade momentum stocks and so if i got in here at 4.5 and it squeezed all the way to uh 6.2 that would be my first exit i should have taken profit here and then wait for another opportunity and then again trade it somewhere here um from 6.2 all the way to uh 7.1 that's another trade take some profit so that would have been the approach that I would use trading this. I, I probably never would have just held this and in, in, in watch it go all the way to uh, 9.5. Reason being that this is a stock that I don't really know. I don't really understand the company. I haven't done detailed fundamentals. So I don't want to be caught with this stock in my hand if it flushes. Um, and so in that, in that regard, I want to secure profit as soon as possible. So those are the trades that I, I that's the trade that I actually did. And again, guys, we can see here microvision $23 and um uh, mymd $45 so that was a stupid trade just to show you guys again if you don't use a stochastic i use stochastic indicator a lot um i combine that with macd which you don't have see here on my chart because i i disable it because it takes up a lot of space on on my chart but i usually enable it when i'm trading so you see stochastic you see macd um rsi and then volume those are the those are the ones that i have on my chart so those are the key ones when i'm trading those have to be on so again volume you can see volume on the neat um right here on the chart itself or you can enable the volume widget which is what you see down here i like this one because it's really bright and vibrant so i can see the green and the red as the volume drops or the volume increases i can see that it shows me right here so again if you look at how the volume matches big red that is sell off right here look at how that thing drops it matches that big red candle look at the sell off right here it tells you um everything so you can see that it's really bright and vibrant so i like that so again let me know in the comment section what you guys think um again for those of you that are interested in kind of joining us we have a discord group i have the link in the description below 
definitely come out there, check us out. Um, we're still like struggling to build that community, um, really start making sure that we have um, something for everybody in the community. Uh, at this particular point, we're just figuring out, I, I post my watch list there every single day so that you guys can actually start trading. And then you have people that are in the same position, like you're wanting to learn, sharing ideas, people that are day trading, uh, people that are just paper trading and learning the skills and making sure that they understand and know their strategy before they start using real money. You can talk with those people. I've seen some of them do like competition. I see who can make, I don't know, a hundred bucks a day with $1,000 like that day, day trading uh, using the simulator. So those are opportunities that you can come hang out with us and you can ask questions. Even if I'm not there to answer the questions, we have a lot of people in the community that can actually help you answer some of these questions. So definitely a place to come hang out. So again, let me know in the comment section if you do have any questions. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on your content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, guys, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.